So in addition to iOS, iPadOS, macOS, Apple also did drop watchOS 26 beta 5 today. And as you can see right here, we are greeted with a new splash screen after it says update complete. It reads your Apple account information is used to enable Apple services when you sign in, including iCloud backup, which automatically backs up the data on your device in case you need to replace or restore it. Your device serial number may be used to check eligibility for services offered. See how your data is managed. And that is a direct link. We're just going to say OK and skip through it and it'll finally process the rest of the update to your watch face. Now, couple things here before we jump into anything else. It looks like we are finally back on track with the updates here, moving in the right order. So what I mean by that, if we jump into settings, general, and about, you could see watchOS 26 beta 5 has a new build number of 23R5328G. The G is now moving back towards the beginning of the alphabet, which is what we've always historically had, showing that we're moving towards finishing up a beta. If you get around a B build or something like that, that is normally when you know the final beta is done, an RC or release candidate is coming next, and the last public beta would be out if applicable. So that is good to see. Been a while since we saw a moving forward of the alphabet lettering, rather than moving towards the end of the alphabet. Now, aside from that, as you guys probably saw in the screenshot, this was another gigabyte plus download. That's two back to back. I have to say, I haven't had many issues with watchOS 26 beta four. Battery life's been pretty solid. We'll actually jump into battery health here in a second. Performance has been right on par with what you would expect for a fourth beta. As we are now on the fifth beta, I would not anticipate any new features, just more tweaking, uh, battery life, performance improvements, things of that nature. So jumping into settings and going down to battery, I wanna show you guys exactly where, and I passed it, sorry guys. I wanna show you exactly where our battery health is with a little bit over a month to go before the new Ultra 3 and Series 11 come out. So as you can see, we are down now in two years, basically, to 90% max capacity. Fortunately, with the Ultra, it still does easily get you through two days of usage, or a day, I should say. Um, but it is starting to struggle on very heavy use days. And also, keep in mind, we've been running betas on this now, like I said, for almost two years. And that definitely does cause some degradation to the battery. So yeah, just something to let you guys be aware of. Aside from that, as you saw, kind of jumping around, everything is working. Workout Buddy is awesome. I do have to say it is really motivational and does get you going. So if you use this as a fitness trainer or anything of that nature, you will love that new addition. And as you can see, just kind of jumping around, weather apps and different items here, it's working as you would anticipate. So performance has not been terrible at all recently, but it's nice to see that it is loading and working fine. Battery life's always the major question and we'll have to put that to the test and we'll have a follow-up video later on in the week to talk more about that. But everything seems to be loading. I don't see any new splash screens, but you can hear the music playing back. Let me go ahead and stop that before we get copyrighted. But yeah, and you see it's actually running and it is cycling through something, but it seems to be working okay. One thing as we always like to check, in the actual smart stack. No new items here at all, live activities we know for beta iOS 26. But if you actually go in to gestures, double tap, unfortunately now again, five betas in, still nothing new from this very forgotten feature from last year in iOS 18. Hopefully they eventually do something with that. I get you have the risk flick, that was the new change this year. Again, if you missed our prior videos, that does not dismiss a notification. It kind of puts it to the side. It will still be in your stack waiting for you. So that's really it. Not many new features. It looks like it's performing pretty solid so far, but we'll put it to the test. If you have iOS and watchOS 26 betas running on your devices, let us know down below how they're working for you. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.